In today's video, I ask the question, are you qualified to buy Windows IoT Enterprise? Stay tuned. Are you qualified? Can you buy Windows IoT Enterprise? That's the question. Let's jump into it. It's probably the number one question we get each day. I mean, we do get a lot of questions on IoT products, but probably the number one question is, can anyone buy Windows IoT? And the answer is no, not just anyone. Um, you have to meet some guidelines in order to qualify. Let's go through those. So the first thing to know is that this product is not available to just anyone on the, inter on the internet. So you can't just go out and search the web and find places that'll sell you a license for Windows IoT products. Um, IoT is for Internet of Things and it's a very specific licensing channel that Microsoft has and it requires some things. If you find a website that will just sell you an IoT license, it, um, is probably not a legitimate website simply because you have to go through an authorized distributor. So the first thing to do is find that list of authorized distributors and we'll put that link in the video description where it will list the true authorized distributors for IoT licensing with Aero Electronics being your best choice um, because you get access to me someone that can help you through the, the process and help answer all your questions. And I'm always available, very quick to respond. Next, it's not available from all of those large computer resellers. The guys like CDW, Insight, um, Cinex Tech Data, Ingram Micro, some very large computer distributor resellers out there, um, but they are, are not authorized for the IoT products. And so we get a lot of folks coming from those companies to us, asking to buy the licenses from us so that they can resell them to their customer. And that's just not allowed. And that's because we can only sell to an OEM that manufactures um, and resells some type of dedicated appliance. So you have to be an OEM that is building a dedicated purpose-built appliance, whether it be medical or industrial or retail, point of sale, cash registers, digital signage, gaming, the list goes on and on. But as long as you turn that machine on and it has a dedicated purpose and you are going to be an OEM that's manufacturing that and reselling it, then you qualify. It's not for internal use. So occasionally we'll get a company who wants to build something for their own internal use and they want to use IOT and that's just, um, it's not allowed. You have to be building something that you're reselling. If it's for internal use, there is an, an LTSC product uh, of Windows Enterprise. That's not an IOT version, but it is an LTSC. That is an upgrade with five years of support. You'll get that through the regular channel, not through the IoT channel, and you can use that for internal. And then lastly, it requires signing a legal agreement with Microsoft where you agree to be the OEM that builds, sells, markets, supports, and, and basically builds this purpose-built device. And um, we, ha we help you through that agreement process. We help you, we can give you a copy of the agreement so you can review it ahead of time but it is signed electronically. And technically to get through this process to buy IoT products, there are six steps. We as an authorized distributor help you through those. That leads us to the next question that always comes up, which is, well, how is Windows IoT Enterprise licensed? I mean, I can't find anything on the internet about it. I don't even know what it costs. How is it licensed and priced? And that, is pretty simple. It is licensed against the physical hardware device. Although recently there are some options for a virtual appliance, which I do have videos on in my, on my channel. So check the channel for videos on virtual appliances, but overall it is always licensed to a physical hardware device. It uses a small COA or certificate of authenticity. It's a tiny little sticker. The sticker is the license. You place it on your appliance device. 
the pricing is based on the processor. So people will ask me all the time, can you give me a price for Windows 10 IoT Enterprise or Windows 11 IoT Enterprise? I can't unless you tell me what processor your device is using. And if you haven't decided yet, that's great because now you can look at the list and sometimes you can save yourself a lot of money if your device will run on a lower performing processor. And that's because the lower the performance, the lower the performance of the processor, the lower the pricing. You can request the processor placemat from Arrow. Microsoft publishes what they call a processor placemat, which calls out all the models of processors and which level on the chart they qualify for. And as an example, if you look at the bottom one here, far right, you'll see that the high end really covers all processors. So if you buy a high end license, you, you can run it on any processor you want, uh, but you're gonna pay the most money for the license. So you save yourself some money. If you have a Core i5 or a Core i3, you can go with the value. If you have an Intel Atom of some, of some model, it would typically qualify for entry. There's some Celeron and Atoms that sort of mix between entry and value. So you really have to look at the chart. And then the very, very cheapest is your ARM-based NXP IMX8 family that just recently launched. And it is the base license option. If you want the actual prices, send us an email. The email will be at the end of the video. We can get you a price pretty quickly, give you an idea of what these things cost, and we can get you the process replacement. So after that, the next question comes up is, what do I get when I buy the IoT Enterprise products? Because there's a lot of confusion there. Sometimes people get through the process, place an order, and then they're surprised at what they get when the, when the shipment arrives. So you will only receive a simple COA sticker license. And so the tiny little sticker, that's all you're going to get. Media such as DVD and USB are not included. So you as the OEM would obtain the, uh, the, the product by downloading it. You download the media separately, and then you use that to create your own master image. So your customer cannot download the media from Microsoft or from Arrow. You as the OEM with the legal agreement have access to a couple of ways to obtain the media, and then you create your own master image. And then as far as a product key, there are a few products that have a key on the sticker license, but 98% of our OEMs use the version that does not have a key on the sticker. And you perform a one-time request to get that single key. And then you put that key in your master image and you don't deal with keys anymore. It makes your life super simple. And then you only need to purchase the core sticker license when you're ready to ship production units. So, You'll get access to the full media and a real key, and you can do all your testing internally without needing a COA sticker license, as that's part of the agreement. You have internal test rights. But then when you're ready to ship a production unit, gotta buy, come to Arrow, purchase a COA sticker license for that device. So a quick recap, just to recap everything we went through as we went through pretty quick. You must be an OEM building and reselling an OEM dedicated appliance. You have to sign the customer license agreement and Arrow will assist you through that process. Then you get the product, the media and the key and start your testing. Return to Arrow to purchase your core sticker licenses. When you're ready to sell, ship and support, get back with Arrow. That's it, follow these six simple steps and you can buy Windows IoT. Thank you guys for watching.